Hey, what's going on, everyone? I'm Amanda Dale, a.k.a. Green Girl Guy. Okay? Um, today I'm recording by myself, so for sure, I'm going to make sure you can see what I'm doing. If you can't see my face, watch another video. You can see what I look like. All right, but today what I'm going to be showing you guys what to do is um, how to plant the watermelons. I actually was on my TikTok page, and I had seen a lot of views on some of the watermelons that I grew. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly how it happened because this, I'm because I'm taking these indoors because we're about to go into the fall now. <clears throat> I can do this for you and grow some pretty substantial watermelons because this is gonna grow indoors and I'm gonna control the climate. Um, now, if you want to do this on your own, you're gonna want to do it um, in May. I would say here I'm in the Philadelphia area. I would say plan around May. Okay. Because um, you're going to want it to be in a high sun area and they're thirsty plants. Um, follow the spacing rules that are on the pack of seeds because it does vary depending on what type of watermelon you're buying. Um, and know that it'll take you anywhere between 70 and 100 days, all right, uh, to grow a watermelon successfully, okay? Um, here's some health facts about uh, watermelon they keep you hydrated, they help fight cancer. Um, they have anti-aging elements in it. Um, definitely look it up. Watermelon, watermelon's the, the, the S-H-I-T. You get what I'm saying? So get with the watermelon, guys. And another thing I want to talk about, because this is urban farming, so we finna talk about it, okay, is the stigma of, of people that look like me or black people, you know what I mean, liking watermelon, eating watermelon, um, or growing watermelon. I'm going to tell you right now, urban farmers, um, anybody, you know, uh, black or African-American that looks like me, throw that stigma out the window. Um, if you really research your history on it, anybody, you know, Google's for everybody. Um, you'll realize that, you know, in the 1860s, you know, once, you know, slaves were becoming emancipated and free and they were getting their little pieces of land, this is one of the number one crops that they were growing and making a lot of money from it, okay? Um, so with that, what happened with that is naturally the mockery to deter them um, from to continue to make, you know, money, you know what I mean, without utilizing any kind of uh, European economics. So long story short, that's the history and that's where the mockery came when you see all the extra black faces with the white lips, you know, eating watermelon and trying to depict anybody of African descent or black, however you want to classify yourself, uh, if you ate watermelon, that that's what type of person you was. Um, it was actually just a deterrent to stop the, the actual black Americans at that time um, from making money in the country uh, after slavery and things like that. So that's the history on that. So I, I'm going to give you the scoop on what's going on, all right? So first things first, I got my cloth pot ready. Now, this is one of the reasons why I like these guys. All right, this is a dual pot. Now, watermelon needs a lot of space to grow. I'm going to attempt to grow it out of here. Now, do I think I'm going to be successful? Yes. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. Each one of these is five gallons. Okay, and watermelon doesn't grow within the basket. It's going to grow out in a vine style. So as long as I have room for it there, and I think I have enough room here for the root system, I think everything is going to be fine. Just like I do in every other video, guys, okay, I break this soil up. This is reused soil. It's been fertilized. It's got all kinds of good juicy stuff in it. So for me, I'm winning. Now, I know this is going to sound crazy, but I'm literally going to plant just one seed. And right about a half an inch deep, I'm going to plant just one seed. Okay, and you guys over the course of time are going to see why, um, because you'll get more benefit out of just planting one. Because everything you grow on that one vine won't suffocate, and you'll be able to get a lot of melons off of that compared to um, choking it out. Watermelons will have a, a deep, they need a lot of root system to grow. And they're thirsties, okay? This is another thirsty. All right, you're going to want to keep the temperature high. So this is not something to grow during the winter, um, early spring. It's definitely something you have to do after frost. Expect to see these germinate within about, it, it varies. Sometimes you'll, it, it, it can happen anywhere between 7 to 14 days, to be honest with you. Okay? Um, sometimes for me it happened a little later. You know what I mean? And the watermelon still grew. Um, and just like I said before, know that it takes approximately seven to 200 days to, to eat into it. 
So what we're going to do is, like we always do, is we're going to keep an eye on it. And I'm going to thank everybody for watching, and I'm going to see you next time.